Hi, welcome to Briones Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and in today's video, we're going to show you five easy ways that you can practice by yourself. Now, let's jump right in. All right, so if you don't have a partner to practice with, but you do have access to a court and you have a paddle and a basket of balls, these are things that you can do. We're gonna go over five things that you can easily improve by yourself, starting with ground strokes, then to dinks, volleys, attacks, and then serves. So make sure you stay tuned to the end, and now let's get to the first one. All right, now, number one, you can always improve your ground strokes, okay? When you are by yourself, you can use some static drop feeds and work on your technique, okay? Um, on the forehand and the backhand side, right now we're gonna be doing static feeds on the forehand side, and I'm going to show you how I practice it now. So kind of like a drop serve, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to just drop the ball out in front of me and then make sure I contact the ball practicing my drives, okay? Or maybe my return, if you hit your return more like a ground stroke, okay? Uh, I'm just going to basically drop it in front of me, make sure that I have good positioning with my feet. I like to hit it in more of a closed stance here so that I could get that full shoulder turn with my left shoulder facing the net. And I'm going to make sure I have a nice compact swing from low to high and I'm rotating my hips and my core and my shoulders as I hit that ball, okay? We're not gonna dive super technical into the strokes, but I'm just gonna show you how I practice it when I'm by myself. So I start with two balls in the hand. First one, I'm gonna go down the line, so kind of anywhere, you know, straight in front of me. And the second shot, I'm gonna go cross court to the even side. Now you could definitely use cones and put things out there, but for right now, I'm just trying to be consistent, hit good drives down the line and then cross court. Okay, so I'll go two at a time here. Okay. All right. Okay, a couple more here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna feed myself some dynamic feeds where I have to move a little bit. I have to move a little bit up, right? And, you know, move in and take that ball. Or I'm gonna have to move a little bit towards my right, so where I'm kinda shuffling over or running for the ball and then striking it the same exact way. Now, this is really good because it could work on your footwork, getting to the ball, whether you need to get to the ball in a forward motion or, you know, laterally coming over here. All right, here we go. All right, that was a good one. Okay, good. Down the line, I'm gonna come up a little bit. Okay, come up a little bit, cross court. All right, all right, so that was some dynamic feeding. Um, remember, I'm trying to make myself move to the ball a little bit, you know, in front of me or a little bit on the side. And again, this really works on those little adjustment steps, trying to get in good position, and then you can strike the ball. Same thing if I'm moving, moving laterally here, toss it, get in good position, and then strike the ball. Now let's move on to the backhand. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the backhand, and first we're gonna start with some static feeds on the backhand side, and then we're gonna move on to some dynamic feeds on the backhand side. So whether you have a one or two handed backhand, you could definitely do this. I'm currently working on my two handed drive. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. You could definitely do one, but I'm gonna start there. Okay, so again, down the line first, and then I'm gonna go cross court. Okay, so I'm gonna, again, this is a little tricky if you're doing two hands, but just static feeds where I'm just gonna drop it like this. And then I'm gonna get my shoulder turned and I'm going to strike the ball down the line okay that was good all right here we go good 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 cross court good so this is a good way to work on technique um, one of the things you know actually several things that i'm really focused on is having my weight moving forward through the shot so i can you know, have a good penetrating deep ball. And then the other thing um, I'm looking at is my contact point and nice follow through from low to high, ending high up here. All right, so now let's move into some dynamic feeds. 
those were kind of just right there and you know so that i can practice my good technique but now we're gonna do some dynamic feeds where i'm feeding it a little bit short where i have to take a few steps in um, or out to my left where i have to move laterally all right down the line first okay all right moving up here okay here we go cross court okay good good all right down the line okay all right cross court here all right so that's practicing your ground strokes on the court um, if you don't have a court you could definitely do it on a wall so right here i have my brick wall in my backyard the bounces kind of you know will change depending on where it hits the wall but this is just really good practice if you just have a wall you could definitely practice your ground strokes and right now i'm going to start just forehands and then i'm going to go to just backhands and then i'm going to alternate going from forehands to backhands all right so here we go forehands first okay all right so those were some forehands there again i'm working on my technique hitting that and keeping that contact point out in front um, the thing i would say here is try not to hit it too hard in the beginning because if you hit it too hard it's going to come really really fast at your feet so remember this is all about good quality control so now we're going to move to the back ends all right here we go Sometimes it's tough because the ball gets really low. So we gotta make sure we move to the ball. All right, all right. So that was backhands. Now we're gonna alternate forehands and backhands. Here we go. So a couple miss hits there off the paddle. I can hear it and <laughs> see it, but you know what? This is all practice on your footwork. A big thing that you're gonna be practicing when you're doing this is moving your feet and getting in good position. All right, so that was it for ground strokes. But now that I'm at the wall, one thing that you can practice is your dinks. Um, I couldn't stress this enough. Dinking is a really important aspect of the game, obviously. And when you're just learning, just you know learning basic and really fundamental ball control is very very important so if you're miss hitting the ball or you use tend to keep your eye off the ball this is a really really good thing that you can do even for more advanced level players just you know getting your timing right and your footwork right that's very very important focusing on that clean contact out in front so here we go i'm just going to start here with forehand dinks um and yeah we'll see how that goes okay so right now i'm hitting them in an open stance you can see this i have a good knee bend here getting low to the ball i'm lifting from my shoulder right there's not a lot of wrist or any um, and all my contacts are out in front if you want to work on stepping in like that a little bit you can do that right uh, whatever you want to do but now i'm doing four hands and i'm making sure that i'm low and I'm lifting from my shoulder from here to here, okay? It's a very short stroke, so that's all you need, okay? Now we're gonna move on to some backhands. Same thing, right now I'm in an open stance, okay, with my chest facing the wall, okay? Or I can, I can step in a little bit on some of them if it's a little short. But again, you can really see lifting from my shoulder. This is how I practice good technique, good control out in front and i am lifting there's not a lot of wrist action all i'm doing is easily controlling it out in front and if your balls even in this drill are going all over the place then you probably need to work on your control right um, remember i'm trying to hit consistent balls so that that ball can come back to me so 
so that I could get in good position and hit it. Now we're gonna alternate from forehands to backhands, okay? Here we go. Okay, so all my contact points are out in front, keeping everything out here, okay? If I have to step in on a shot, do that, that's totally fine. Okay, but notice I'm staying low. My paddle's not coming behind me, right? I'm not doing this, okay? Everything's out in front, back into ready position as soon as I hit the ball. All right. All right, so that's how you can practice your dinks. Um, now we'll jump right into volleys. All right, so now we're gonna hop right into volleys. I know there's a shadow here, hopefully you can still see, but again, I'm gonna do the same thing. Start with forehand volleys, just really nice and controlled. And for these, I'm not gonna step in because when we're up at the non-volley zone line, like pretend this is it right here, um, I can't be stepping in. So I'm actually gonna control everything in an open stance. Um, a couple things you're gonna notice is I will maybe adjust my feet slightly, you know, take a step to my left or right, um, but I'm not gonna be stepping in. And each of my contacts, when we talk about a contact point, when it's right out in front here, I want to make sure, you know, it's nice, short, and compact. All I'm doing is that, okay? So here we go. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, okay? I'm not hitting super hard right now, um, but it really doesn't matter. Um, you can always speed it up and get closer to the wall even, okay? You don't have to be seven feet from the wall. You can just do that if you want, get really close. Um, but again, do what you can control, okay? So now I'm gonna move on to the backhand, same thing, out in front contact point. What you will not see is me doing that, right? Everything from my shoulder to my elbow, to my arm, to my wrist, everything is moving as a unit from my shoulder. Okay, so we're gonna go backhands here. Uh-huh, okay, good. Trying to aim for that one little brick there. Okay, okay, um, again, it's really, really important that you keep your stroke very compact, very short. We're not swinging big, right? Everything is very, very short and we're staying right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go alternation uh, volleys where we're going forehand and backhand. This one definitely you're gonna see um, because for my forehand, I want it you know, somewhere around here. I can't have it straight out in front of me. So you're definitely gonna see me adjusting my feet. And actually this is a good one for footwork, right? When we're trying to get around our forehand, because when we hit backhands, we can just do this. But if it's over here, we might have to slide. So you're gonna see some of the, the shuffle step here um, from side to side. All right, so forehands to backhands, here we go. Okay. Okay. So uh, I am in a continental grip. Another thing to keep in mind, you definitely want to be in a grip that you can hit comfortably forehands and backhands. All right. So now we're going to move on to attacks. Okay. Or, you know, aggressive offensive shots. And I'm here at the non-volley zone line. And I want you to think about when you're up here and you're getting like dead dinks or dinks in front of you, right? That aren't pressing you in any way or, you know, causing a lot of stress. They're just kind of sitting up for you to attack. Or if your opponent is hitting kind of like a third shot drop and then it sits up here and then we're trying to keep them back nail them at the feet or you know keep them there at the baseline this is a really important skill as you let the ball bounce and i would call this you know attacking off the bounce it's very very important to do this especially as you're moving up in higher levels um, the big thing here is we want to start with this paddle head dropped in a low position face towards the floor and then we want to just accelerate from here from low to high, so from here to here, okay? It's not, I'm not just doing that with my wrist, I'm actually, you know, starting in this position, you know, accelerating up and then ending here somewhere by my left shoulder, okay? So we're gonna start with um, forehands first, okay, drop it here, okay? 
And again, that's what's gonna form that topspin, this motion from low to high. As long as I don't hit it too hard, I have good, you know, low to high motion. That's what's gonna keep that ball in, okay? Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is really, really good practice. Again, if you had an opponent in front of you even, some of the balls here you're going to want to attack at times. Here we go. Okay. Now we're going to go backhand, and we can try this with one um, or two, okay? And I know a lot of you right now probably don't know how to attack on your backhand side, but just starting this and starting this motion, trying to get it going and practice this, this can be really, really beneficial for you. So again, um, if I'm going you know, with my backhand, I do want to get this paddle head more down to the floor so that I can accelerate up, okay? And um, a key component here is I'm not gonna be swinging really hard or really fast. This is more of a medium pace stroke here. So one-handed here, my backhand's here, okay? All right, I wanna hit the net, it's okay, here we go. All right, okay, good. Here we go, down the line here, okay? Here we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. Well, I'm gonna do the same thing, two-handed, not, not with the two-handed attack, okay? So I'm gonna drop here and then finish up here, okay? Okay, there you go. Here we go. Okay, that one was long there. Adjust, there we go. Okay. Mm-hmm, a little bit long there. Okay, that was a good one, I think, right on the line. And that one was a little bit long, so I'm gonna adjust, okay. And here, okay. All right, so you can do that two or one hand. Remember, this is just practicing some offense, okay? Off the bounce, right? We're trying to accelerate the ball with a little bit of pace, depending on where they are, right? If there are in transition, right? I'm just trying to kind of push it with topspin at their feet. If they're up at the non-volley zone line, we could definitely attack from, from the bounce, but we have to be ready for the counter. So just make sure you're ready for that. All right, so now let's move into the fifth and final thing that you can practice by yourself. And of course, last but not least, it's the serve, all right? As you're improving, you definitely want to improve your service motion getting more pace on the ball and getting more spin if you can. Um, depth is obviously key, but developing your technique on your serve is going to give you more spin and more pace. All right, so I'm gonna just, you know, take some serves here, make sure that I have a good stance. Um, you know, I am in a close, close stance here. You could serve open, some players do, but um, I really encourage you to start more in a close stance so that you can get that shoulder already in this position, you know, close here. So my shoulder, left shoulder is facing the net so that when I hit, I can get that, or it's easier for me to get that full rotation, okay? Um, whether you're serving a bounce serve um, or a drop serve like this off the ground or out of the air, um, it's gonna be the same exact thing, okay? I'm gonna be transferring my weight. My right foot is going to start here with the weight and then as I transfer my weight to my my left foot and my left leg, I'm going to be rotating and swinging through. Okay, so I'll take a couple serves here um, with a drop serve, then I'll take a couple out of the air. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, now let me take a couple out of the air. Here it is here. Okay, good. Okay, All right, couple bounce again, or drop serve there. Okay, and then now out of the air, last two here. Okay, and okay. All right, so again, these are five things that you can easily practice by yourself. Remember, all you need is a paddle, a bucket of balls, and a free court. So again, if this video was very helpful to you, go ahead and give this video a like. We really appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next video.